We are in California, so that could still mean hell. Bob, come on. Whoa, who are those guys over there? Oh my gosh, it's the men in black. That's not the men in black. Then why are they wearing all black? Because we're at a funeral? Conspiracy theories aren't even real, Bob. Well, you'd be surprised. The number of very wild-sounding conspiracy theories have turned out to be completely factual. Name four over the course of this video. To start with, Operation Northwoods. In the 1960s, the Joint Chiefs of Staff proposed a false flag operation where American military bases and civilians would be attacked by operatives disguised as Cubans, so the U.S. military would have an excuse to go to war. Thankfully, JFK shot that one down. So they returned the favor. Well, I'm not so sure about that one, but what I can tell you is that in the 1950s and 60s, the CIA performed human experiments as part of the infamous Project MKUltra. Psychological torture, electroshock therapy, sensory deprivation, psychedelic drugs, and sexual abuse were all employed in order to develop a better understanding of how to manipulate people's minds. So the CIA was bad once upon a time. Whatever. Since the 60s, our government has been nothing but sweetie sweetie. I wish. From 1979 to 1980, the U.S. government funded and supported the Contra rebels in Nicaragua who committed over 1,300 acts of terrorism. One of their goals was to elicit a violent response from the Sandinista government, which would warrant further military action from the U.S. Ugh, Reagan. Sadly, such shenanigans were not merely Reaganite. The Carter administration armed and supported the Mujahideen, which eventually gave birth to the Taliban. And the Obama administration not only armed ISIS, but also the Mexican drug cartels, resulting in the death of an American border patrol agent. And under his administration, the IRS was found to be targeting political opposition. I thought that was just a conspiracy theory. It was, and it turned out to be true. That's, that's the point of this episode, Ron. Oh, yeah, right. Try to keep up. There are a lot of insane theories out there, but just because flat earthers are a thing doesn't mean that every conspiracy theory is insane. And after all that our government has been confirmed as lying about, dismissing every accusation against them as a conspiracy theory is just as crazy, if not crazier, than believing in the most absurd crackpot theories. You're... you're right. I've been such a fool about everything. Thank you for being patient with me all these years. Whoa! I'm going to remove NPR from my radio presets right now. Huh? Where are we? Where's the nearest government official to tell me what the meaning of life is? <sighs> Bubble Man? Where's my best friend Bubble Man? Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.